Took us about five minutes. We're out here without a pack of matches. All we have is some flint and about five gallons of petrol. We're kind of worried about being able to start a fire. I understand it gets to be about 68 degrees Fahrenheit at night here. I'm a little concerned about hypothermia. So far we've run into a wild dog, a wild horse, and I can definitely smell the burrows. Out in the wilderness, it's very important to observe things like who? Scat. Call it scat. Scat. Apparently we have uh, some ancient aqueduct here. Cougar prints. Wild animal tracks. Here comes Bob. The wild animal. Come on, Bob. As you can see, the trails aren't very well marked here. It's kind of hard to tell the trail from the jungle. That could have been a serious accident resulting in a broken leg having to be airlifted. Tragic story of Bob. Um, Bob got distracted by Los Niños probably with food. Um, so he is hanging out. What time is it? Um, probably about quarter to four. And it'll probably take us about five hours to get down, you know, 10,000 feet an hour. Yeah. Let's Let's head and down. It's starting to get dark and all we have is that five gallons of petrol. In case we get stuck here overnight and have to use that five gallons of petrol, you can see my traveling companion there is climbing up to catch the chicken in case we have to cook it for survival. It was um, indeed unfortunate. What we just saw back there was um, four rather small cannibals. Um, apparently three of them got the best of the smallest one, appeared to be a very young female. I smell the charcoal now. They must have the uh, barbecue pit going and I'm certain that they're going to be roasting her up here before nightfall. We could have used that horse five hours ago starting our descent. Now we're almost at the bottom, it seems useless. We finally made it to the bottom. We're a little past our prescribed time to check in. And I think if you, if you look behind us, you can see that there's uh, quite a flotilla of search and rescue vessels looking for us to pick us up. Um, we're about two minutes past our check-in time and you can see that uh, there's quite a stir down there on the beach looking for us. Did you signal with the smoke flare that we're on our way? We used up our last smoke flare. We did? Yeah. The steep descent. Hopefully they'll wait. Hopefully. I could do an elaborate whistling signal. The perilous river crossings, rife with piranhas and other such unpleasantries. I'm out of breath, what about you? <sighs> We're back at base camp now. You can see our production crew behind us sipping cerveza. They're very relieved to have us back. Yeah. We this... were gone uh, approximately 45 minutes, uh, and they started to worry about us after five. But see, the boats are dispersing, so yes. it's it's all cleared up. That's it's a all good, good thing. Hopefully, there'll be one boat left to uh, take us off of this um, island. We gotta get out of this place. If it's the last thing we have